G'day! It's been a long time between videos. I know that, sorry about that, but I can't really talk about what's going on in the world at the moment or anything like that, because I'll just get perma-banned off YouTube or any other platform. So, today we're gonna do something different. We're out in the shed. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing to keep sane throughout all this shit. I do live in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, so it has been a bit hectic. Today, we're gonna take this milk crate full of old cans, and we're gonna turn those into some little moulded ingots like that and clean it up a bit and then after that we're going to try and cast a few things these are the few of the things I've tried so far that was just a lid off a hair thing the missus had a bee made out of blue tack pushed in the sand, pulled it out poured molten metal in and that came out so I uh, went from there to these Nintendo controllers tried two of those uh, just open cast, nothing on the back um, quite quite porous, a lot of holes in it, not not great, but for me first attempt at sand casting, I'm happy enough with how the um, the actual basic shaped held at least. So uh, then I decided to step it up, held a set of boxes, just a little bit of pine, a couple of these latches on the side, and I will improve it, put a strip along each edge just to hold the sand when it's in there, as you'll see either later or in another video. Um, and using that, the only time I've cast something with it was the other day. Uh, shout out to Jop and Peachy for giving us a hand. Made this. So, took the old pub ashtray, put it in there. I haven't cleaned it up because there's a slight pinhole just in there where the pattern really sort of thinned out, but very good learning experience, you know, cutting the vents and sprues and all the fancy words these other cunts I've watched on YouTube use for these things. So, we'll have a bit of a crack today. We'll melt down some cans. Shout out to Aaron, dropped off this oil cooler, which has got to be fucking eight kilos or so. Obviously gonna have to cut it up, pull it apart a bit before I can melt it. And along with this big old uh, hunk here. So we should be able to rip into this with the grinder over the next day or two and uh, get another video out of melting a lot of this shit down. So I'll show you the burner, the furnace quickly, show you how it works and We'll get into it, melt some shit down, and I'll try not to fucking burn myself before I run out of beer. I'd rather focus on something positive. Mate, you're making this very fucking hard. Ah, you're both in here. Let's see if we can do a bit of a sneak. Oh, mate. He's over here, right? His missus, whoop. Their nest is up in that tin. I've decided to let them stay, because they're not not fucking hurting anyone out here. So, yeah, you're right, mate. So, yeah, complete sidetrack. But, if you like my videos, you'll fucking get used to it. All right, so here's me latest little improvement to me setup. Um, got myself a new gas bottle, regulator. Uh, it goes all the way from zero to 60 PSI, I think, or a bit over. There's a little red notch there, I'm assuming, means too much gas. A uh, few fittings to get the uh, left-handed adapters on the bottle and the regulator through to the other fittings I need to use on the rest of it. Turns out they make gas very difficult because they don't want people playing with it. So we follow the gas line down. That's the uh, lid off the furnace. We'll get to that in a sec. Here's the actual burner. So we've got just a gas-rated 90-degree tap there. Uh, a series of fittings. I should have filmed this before I put it, put it together. Uh, right in the end of those brass fittings there is just a MIG welding tip. Can we see down? Oh, fucking oath, we can. Look at that. That's sick. That's mad. That's, uh, yeah, that's a point, point 0.6 mil 025 there. Uh, MIG welding tip down there. That's the nozzle for me gas. Um, I actually just tweaked it a bit. I've only used it once before, just quickly last night, uh, not before rather, to give it a test. Um, it was a bit hard to get going, a bit hard to keep a flame. I haven't built in a choke mechanism. I've just made a crude one out of a bit of cardboard. Um, but I've actually just shortened from well, about 10 inches to 6 inches, that main barrel there. I can't point because my other hand's holding the camera. That bit there. Um, these screws, I actually just drilled the holes out, tapped them, put the screws in to hold that. Um, 90 degrees from each other. You can sort of adjust left and right to get it angled up nicely. Tap so you can shut it off. Gas rated Teflon tape, I don't want to hear about it, cunts. Um, yeah, so we jam that. And Mr. Holler, sorry you cunts that are actually into a bit of this. 
must be incredibly boring and I have no idea what I'm doing. I make it up as I go along. So here's me foundry, uh, plaster of Paris with a bit of sand, 50-50 mix. Put it in one bucket, stick another bucket in it to make the hole. Drill a hole through for your heat source or your air blower. There's some dross off the top of the last shit I melted the other night in there. Uh, me lid here. Uh, again, was just cast in another bucket, but you can see the little... Focus, you bitch. Those little bits of metal in there are stainless steel, um, like steel wool. Basically just to act like Rio within the plaster and sand mix to hold it together. Same with this, there's rows of um, chicken wire around there. The base, like if you have a look in there, that's only barely me hand deep. And that's, you know, way up my arm. So the base on that alone is quite fucking thick. Again, reinforced with wire. Um, what else we got? Oh, the crucible. Well, the actual, the melting vessel. Um, made from the base of an old fire extinguisher. I'm still waiting for one off eBay. Um, I bought one years ago when I fucked around with this for a couple of weeks. Lost it somewhere. Um, fire extinguisher, nice and thick. It's a big old one. Me mate come around, shout out the job. Um, chopped another ring off it, drilled it, tack welded it, welded the whole ring around, and made. I think this is the last thing I've got to show before we can fucking melt. Made these custom crucible tongs. Which actually fit. It's hard to do this while you're watching the camera to make sure it's in shot. But actually fit perfectly there. So you can pour, pick it up, all that lovely stuff. We actually used the forge, uh, heated them up, flattened them out to make the hinge there, welded together pretty, pretty crudely, but we're in a rush and they did the job. Um, we heated up the ends of it, hammered it around the uh, rest of the old fire extinguisher that we made the crucible from. Um, and the other thing, when I did test it out the other night, and I had this sitting directly on the bottom of the, the little foundry, um, the sides of it were heating up really well, but the bottom of it wasn't. So I got that little bit of square there and just uh, sat the crucible on there down the bottom as square as I could. And fucking within seconds, it was, it was roaring. So hopefully with the uh, little bit of adjustment, I did have to have this running at nearly 20 PSI the other night, which is far too fucking high. It shouldn't need anywhere near that. Um, but after a bit of tweaking to uh, Mr. Bernie Burn, look at that. We can nearly see down the fucking throat. Look at that. So, all right, I'll get the blowtorch out, put my gloves on, set fire to some shit, and if I don't blow myself up, you will get to see the video. We're burning. As you can see, it hits around the crucible very nicely. I have to make sure I don't drop the fucking phone in there. A bit noisy, but uh, yeah. I like to put a bit of aluminium in there to melt to start with. It makes it easier once you start pushing cans in, so I'll whack the uh, lid on. You know what, I'll even, I'll even get the tripod to show you you can't. Hang on. Crucible over a bit to get better flame. The gloves are going on. Oh, that's not a little bit of pain in the ass having to keep charge the phone, but you can see that's already getting quite hot. Like the old aluminium starting to peel off the side from last time, so let her cook up a bit. First few can take a while to start melting, so I just sort of sit one on top to preheat it. Aluminium, look, if you've ever had a dirt bike or anything, everything's made out of aluminium because it dissipates heat so quickly. Um, it's Luckily it melts at a low temperature, so it's not such an issue doing this, but uh, yeah, when these things are cold, like if it's five degrees outside, these things will be about three. Look at that color. So a couple of little starters of just about uh, melting down. That was one of those nice big chunks, and as you can see, it's pretty uh, well. It's pretty liquefied. So hey, 
I actually just dumped a heap of table salt in there as well because I'm going to melt cans, which have got a lot of dross, and I read too much shit on the internet. So let's watch the salt eat through me crucible or do something fucking stupid, and we'll go from there. Also, like to keep a uh, a bucket handy just because everything get very hot. So we're about to chuck some cans in. The idea of putting the salt in, that's the shit I collect off the top, off the last lot. It shouldn't be as silvery. It should be very gray and not have as much aluminum left in it. So um, the second experiment is, will this old S8 melt this close to a furnace? So let's stick some cans in. T1000 shit. Oh, hey, Ruby Doo. Are you helping? You can't help. It's too hot, mate. Alright, so I'm going to set up to do a bit of a, a bit of a pour if I get this fucking camera to stay level. Um, just going to pour into muffin tins. Just because the, the whole idea is to melt down on the shot almost. We'll come down a bit. Um, the idea is to um, melt the cans down or any other scrap or whatever you've got and theoretically that should uh, help clean the aluminium up you know from all the paint and shit on the cans or just whatever else is on any free shit you find I guess. Oh, just shut her off. I don't have enough hands to do everything at once. That's our molten mix, a bit of shit on top. So this is, look how fucking red hot that is. So all this little shit on top, we want to get rid of. And that's all not good. Very hot though. Poor little tongues are about to die. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty cleanish for some old cans and reburnt old shit. Shouldn't sit this on concrete, but I don't have a else to put the fucking thing. I mean, little square things. Stuck to the bottom with the heat, but we'll see. Oh, hands on fire. shit fall out of that one too, that's alright. Yeah, that's what we've uh, come out with, pretty molten. That one there, as you can see, has got a bit of the dross in it from the bottom of the, the bottom of the pour. But uh, they'll cool off. I sometimes dunk them in water, sometimes I can't be fucked. Today's one of those days. So I'll leave those for tomorrow. 
I'll pack up then tomorrow. I'll probably try and recast these into something using the sand either tomorrow or Sunday or whenever I get around to it, basically. So, anyway, cheers for watching, cats. That's how you melt some cans down with a fucking homemade propane furnace fucking bullshit while you have a couple of beers. Hope it's, uh, hope it's something during all this uh, fucking craziness in the world, so... Like I said at the start, I'll talk about it when it's all over and you know, I'm not going to get banned from everywhere or have cops knocking on your door over social media posts. But in the meantime, fucking stay sane, cunts. Cheers.